Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to the show. Today we start out in Home Depot on a Home Depot run on a Saturday. No, it was Sunday. I decided I wanted to start fresh with the ideas for the neutral color in the house, so I did. And I decided on a few things, which I'm really excited to share with you guys kind of in detail what my thoughts are there. We also picked up some drywall that we need for an exterior project, some more ceiling trim. We got the uh, metal poles here for project in the garden and lots of paint. So I didn't do official welcome. So hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elizabeth. Thank you for being here. Um, it is a Sunday. We're running errands, get our Home Depot run done. We're currently sitting with the trailer, waiting for them to deliver 40 bags of mulch. I'm so excited. I did go with a different brand this time. I've never tried it before, so I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out. It's a little bit of a lighter brown than what I normally go for, but it's Cypress, which is a type of wood, like a real hard wood that takes a really long time to break down. And it's compared to the, the bag was 50 cents cheaper than the brand I normally get, which is 1.5 cubic feet. And these bags are two cubic feet. So getting 40 bags, I saved 20 bucks and I get more mulch. So decided to go that route, just waiting. It's kind of crazy. There was a guy out here helping just physically load some mulch. And when we asked him, cause we bought a whole pallet, we asked him if he could just bring the forklift over with the pallet. He's like, I've got to go get a pallet operator. So we're waiting. So. Anyways, after this, we're going to head out to eat lunch, get back home, and hopefully get some projects done today. My goal is to um, finish painting the raised beds and get the mulch down and finish the landscape fabric. Um, we're probably not going to work too much on home projects today or in this video because the actual 4th of July is on a Tuesday and my husband's taking off work and I'm going to just work a half day. We're probably gonna work on that wall in the dining room that day. Um, finish the arch, finish the paneling and the ceiling trim above the arch, all of that stuff. Um, on a day like that, where it's a weekday, we can both get it done together and we're not rushing to work in the evenings. So that's the plan for that. Um, it is super duper hot. We have a heat warning again. And I'm just, I'm thankful that half of the kitchen garden is in shade half of the day. So I'm just gonna try and get as much done as possible. I picked the new colors, you guys. I picked the new colors. And what I decided to do is I have like a really light beigey, creamy color that I picked for the dining room and the living room. And I'm probably going to eventually do in the hallway. And then I picked a different light beige, creamy color that has a hint of pink. It's called cinnamon something. And that is for our bedroom. I think it'll look really great in there. And so we shall see. But anyways, I'm excited to get all that stuff. You guys, we just spent like, um, well, we spent like 160 bucks on that mulch. And then we spent almost $800 in Home Depot. Yikes. Uh, anyways, I had budgeted for it and that's okay, but like my husband does not like spending like any money, especially a big number. So like he freaked out when we got fireworks the other day because he was like, oh my God, that's so expensive. I said, listen, I know I budgeted for it. We could do it. That's why we're doing it, you know? So, I mean, I always know what to expect because I plan for it and I research. Um, so anyways. It was a lot, but we got the paneling we needed for the dining room. We needed some additional paneling. We got this, a few pieces of ceiling trim we were missing. All that paint was 250 bucks. That's a lot of it. And then um, I got the landscape fabric and the pins, the staples for the fabric. Also got a new purple fountain grass because the one I had in the cottage garden last year, which they're perennial, but obviously it didn't, it didn't come back. And whenever I saw it, I told my husband, I was like, I have to have this. I love those plants. Anyways, that's going to go in the kitchen garden. Super exciting. Um, and then what else did we get? A bunch of knickknacky things. Um, the electrical stuff. My husband needs to rewire that outlet outside beside the pool pump so that we don't have to run that extension cord over to the line. 
Um, I've got the paint for Hadley's picnic table as well as some spray glitter paint because I'm thinking about doing some glitter on the top of the picnic table after I paint it orange. That'll be so fun. So I have like 20 things I'd love to get done in the kitchen garden area today alone. Don't know if I'll have time, but that's pretty much what I'm going to be working on wrapping up like today and tomorrow and the next day like as I have time because I now have all the materials needed to finish all my projects in the kitchen garden with the exception of um, we've got the metal poles to do the solar hanging lights and we just need some sort of bracket for the top of those to hang the strands of lights but we have the lights so that's kind of to be determined on that but anyway super excited look at all that mulch. all right so here's what I picked for the dining room this Bali sand really feel like that was good enough of a contrast with the white but not too dark and then so that would be dining room the hallway which has that orange wall and the living room which will be these two colors and then I got this color because I think I'm gonna do one wall in the dining room kind of an accent and then this is the color I got for the walls in the bedroom so keep in mind this will be the colors in the bedroom the watt is just the trim so I like that so much better and if you compare that to like the Bali sand this is in the living room you see there's how dining room you see how there's like a little bit of a pink tint to that I mean we are in the shade of the truck but anyway so I like that I did not pick based on names this time I think that's part of what threw me off last time when I picked those four colors is because I was drawn to that section of colors and then I picked the cool names and I just didn't end up loving any of those colors so I focused on just the color so if I had a cool name I was like cool fun but otherwise no and then I don't know if I've got the color swatch in here for Hadley's but I just got her like a really bright orange because that's what she wanted for a picnic table and that bright color of orange is going to pop and go really well with the blue cement blocks and the light blue umbrella so I think it's going to look really great as like a total package so that's going to be fun and I can't wait to see what we get done today after this my husband and I are going out to eat and just have some lunch out alone adult time and then we're going to go over to a small town near where we live someone has a used tiller that my husband is very interested in it's a third of the cost of a brand new one so anywhere we can save money and all this stuff we're gonna but my husband because he knows so much about like um motors big motors small motors tiny motors whatever um he will be really thorough in inspecting that thing and making sure he feels like it's in either really great condition or has minor problems he's capable of fixing so that's the only way he'll buy something used and so we're gonna go and we're gonna look at it and fingers crossed that it's in great condition because it's a really good deal and then if so we will have gotten the tiller so that would be fabulous to get all that taken care of today and then the only other big purchase we have to make in the near future is that shed and I tried to call on the Saturday I tried to call on Saturday but they were closed so I'm gonna be calling them Monday morning and then hopefully the bleeding with all the spending can subside for a few weeks because you know it's a lot and you just have to just have to budget for it when we can and we can afford more purchases right now because of the larger project I took on definitely pays out more um, and I'm just really glad that's like <sighs> almost done and so that's really nice so cheers or fingers crossed to a super productive day putting all this stuff we just bought to good use So we're here at these people's house to look at this tiller and this is a house that literally every time I drive by I always think how cute it is and how their landscaping is so adorable. So when my husband and this gentleman move off of this porch I'm going to show you what the house looks like because there's nothing like identifying who they are or anything like that. I just want to show you what I mean. They take really good care of their yard and it's so cute. Look at this. Like just I don't know if you can tell through the dirty windshield but like their hostas all look perfect and their side yard over here on the other side looks really beautiful and it's just everything is like well maintained look how short the grass is 
it's just it's really beautiful the other side is really pretty because it's like a big yard but um, it has these pretty shrubs and this wood fence over there and it just always looks beautiful so that's really cool this is our last stop before we get home and it's already like four o'clock in the afternoon and um, it was clouding up a lot when we were at Home Depot so we checked the weather and there's like scattered showers all throughout the rest of the day so don't know if I'm gonna get to do the painting today um, in the kitchen garden but if I can't I would love to at least get the the landscape fabric and the mulch down um, we'll see okay so we just got back and got everything unloaded and you guess it's already 5 15 in the evening um, my phone is dying and it's too hot to too hot to really film outside so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like now as we've like thrown out the bags of mulch and then I will charge my phone and show you what it looks like because I'm gonna put out the mulch right now as far as we have it spaced out it looks like the 40 bags are not gonna be enough but we laid them pretty close together sounds like my husband already has the tiller going in the garden so let's peek over there he does look at that see he's already done to the left of the tomatoes how fun so he's excited about that and I'm excited about this look at this oh my goodness and the purple fountain grass you guys I think I'm gonna plant it somewhere up here in the front I love it it's so beautiful oh and it's breezy and lovely anyway so I'm gonna get to work on dumping all this stuff out and hope that it's enough what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dump out what I have and then I'm gonna get my new landscape fabric and I think I'm gonna work on this edge here so I can get to where at least all the way back to a point it's done because that will be great because again we're not finishing the far back until our sheds delivered Button up. Ooh, pretty. You pick some squash too? Ooh, that one's gonna be like a burgundy. Huh? This one over here that's buttoned up is gonna be like a burgundy. Oh, and a little yellow. Yep, just a purple, but pretty nonetheless. So here's what it looks like. I just went to the edge here because I've still got to do this piece. And again, I've got to take those bricks up before I get that piece in there. But man, I love it. I'm going to leave this plant here for a few days, see what I think about it. Because this spot may be pretty hard to dig in. Let's see, the sun is bright right there. So I love it. It makes the color of the beds pop even more. This little guy. I always had him on the corner. And I'd always catch him out of the corner of my eye and think it was like one of the cats or something. <laughs> so just put him there. Over here, I went up to where the it meets the gravel. And when I get more, I will bring this all the way over. So pretty much like another foot over. And yeah, wish it had been enough, but you always, like there's just not a good way to try and figure that out. I, I mean, you can do math apparently, but <laughs> I don't know how to figure it out. So I have, it's about 6.30, so I'm gonna give myself maybe an hour to work on the painting and see if I can at least get this guy done 
So for the sides I've not done yet, I'm just going to use like my Hori Hori knife and just pull the mulch back in that one spot and paint. And then that's what I'll do for all of the spots I haven't done yet. You can see here I painted this down to the black plastic. And after doing the mulch, other than this one spot right here, then uh, the mulch covers up the line where you went to. So that's nice. <sighs> I've got a couple of places here where the fabric we couldn't pin down because there's that sidewalk that runs through here. So it's concrete. And so I've just got two containers setting on it to keep it from like blowing in the wind or the pets playing with it. So there's that. But after I'm done painting, I'm going to water everything for today. This container is wilting down a bit. It is very particular. It was watered this morning but it looks sad so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll check in with you guys and show you what I got done all right so I did the top sides and inside of all of them so now I'm gonna come back around and I'm gonna do a little bit on the inside of each and hope that by the time I'm done it's dry enough for me to put some soil in these because what I've decided I'm gonna try is to grow some carrots in in these and no matter what I grow I've decided I want to fill them all with soil so I need to even my old ones over here they've got leaves and debris and stuff I'm gonna fill all these with soil I don't have enough soil to do that right now I've only got four bags and I don't know how far that will go and I'm gonna have to just like be putting it in there by hand because it's such a small space uh, but this dries really quick outside because the concrete absorbs so much so I'm really optimistic that like where I just finished here maybe dry um, enough to do that so then i'm going to do the inside really quick and then i'll bring you back while i'm working i'm listening to acre homestead comment below if you guys love her too i love listening to her hyper productive videos i cannot listen to her videos when i'm working or else it makes me want to go clean my house cook or get out of my garden <laughs> she totally inspires me to do more um so much so that i can't um I can't be having that vibe when I'm trying to work productively. Look at this cat. What are you doing, bunny? What you doing, bunny? What are you doing, Ernesto? Oh, you're just chilling. Yeah, you're chilling like a villain. I know, I quit petting you. I need my drink. All right, so here's where we're at now after I just did a little bit of the inside. And I am going to be adding more soil to these beds in time. And you can tell if you look at my old beds, I didn't even do the insides at all. So when I have time and I come back and I paint these the new blue, I will be doing the insides. Because lesson learned, should have done it then. It's going to be hard in some places, but I will just pull the plants back, paint them, carry on. Look at these, wow. Some of these jalapenos are picking size. And look at this, this is a, like a, a volunteer little sunflower guy that just came up here and here. Because here are the flowers I planted here. I mean, I guess I could have planted it and just forgot, but anyway, so super cute. So you can see where I pulled the mulch back to do this. So I'm gonna go through and fix the mulch and then, um, I'm going to start on this far end that's not wet on the top and come around like this with the soil. All right, so here's where I got to for now. That took three bags of soil. So it's going to take four. Look at this. Ugh. Paint and dirt, gardening day. So it's going to take four to go all the way around. I do have a fourth. My back is killing me though. This, putting that in, that's, that's no fun. I think next time when I go to do the rest, Hold on. I will dump the bags of soil in the wheelbarrow, have it close by, and use a small, like three inch planter cup to just dump them in the holes uh, and just kind of stay squatted the whole time. That should be easier. All right, here's where we are at the end of the day. I came through and I wet down the mulch and I hosed this guy off a bit just to get the soil I had, or, you know, displaced everywhere and did push all the mulch back 
and I spilled some dirt there. I'm not even gonna worry about it. But anyways, I mean, for the most part, I really like this. And how long these things are taking, like it probably took me two to two and a half hours altogether to paint this one bed. And it's really good for me to know. Look at these cats. <laughs> Uh, so then that will help me in my project planning because I have three left to do So I'm really happy to have this done um, Obviously with the exception of the dirt there, so I'll probably be doing that um, Maybe in the morning or tomorrow on some little quick break during my work day and also planting the seeds I've got to figure out other than carrots what I want to do there um, but anyways that's going to wrap up today's video. I just want to say thank you so much for being here. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. The sun is setting and the skeeters are coming out. And I'm going to head in and make a late dinner. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We love you.